Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 28, 2020. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trades, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So Bitcoin, well, if this entire video will be about the cryptocurrency. And of course, we'll talk a lot about Bitcoin. Because as you can see, Bitcoin is trading at this current moment at $28,181. That is absolutely crazy. So we broke through 25000 and it just exploded to the upside. Um, however, this is an area that is really, really, really dangerous to buy this. It is not an area that you basically should buy it, which I'll come to in a moment. First of all, I'll just look at the technical indicators for the daily chart. And as you can see, they're all looking extremely bullish. However, you should be paying attention to the RSI in the daily chart. We are at 86, which means that we're significantly overbought. It is, this is way, way, way overextended. And the last time the Bitcoin basically was this overbought was back in 2017. So we look at the weekly chart in a moment and you will see in the weekly chart what basically I'm talking about. However, we started this rally from this position here. So this flag position here was basically the, that basically set us up to this massive run to the upside. So it is not clear at the moment where we are going. Um, I would say that we could basically pull back at any point and we could pull back quite significantly. Um, we could also go to 13, uh, 30,000 and then pull back. That is also possible. The way this, this has been moving the last few hours, it, that is very likely that we'll go to 30,000. However, I've seen a lot of videos. I've read a lot of articles in, this, uh, in the weekend or the past few days that basically saying that Bitcoin is going to be the new uh, cryptocurrency or the currency of the world and so on. And people are going to use this as a normal currency. I don't think that's what is happening here at the moment. I think that people are using cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin, as a safe haven. So rather uh, basically putting your money into gold, which is a normal safe haven, which institutions and, and people basically put their money when the economy is expected to uh, go south, people are basically putting their money into cryptocurrencies. If that is a good idea or not, um, well, I would bet on gold rather than betting on cryptocurrency. Gold has a extremely good track record. It has been used as a cryptocurrency. It has been used as a safe haven for hundreds of years, and uh, and I think that is basically the more the safer bet compared to cryptocurrency. But it is basically used as a safe haven, and that's basically what is uh, making this rally. In essence, uh, cryptocurrency is is um, is a digital digital currency, uh, which is not regulated by any central bank. It is technically uh, supply and demand in the marketplace that basically is determining whether or not this goes up or this goes down. There is no central bank behind this. And the people that are basically saying that this is going to be the new world currency and this is what we're going to use in the, in the, in the future, I don't think so. I don't buy the thought that central banks will give up their monopoly on basically creating money or governments will basically give up their monopoly of creating money. So physical policy, monetary policy is going to stay with governments. They are not seeing this as a threat at the moment. They are watching what is happening in the cryptocurrency market. But as soon as they see it uh, basically becomes a threat to their authority, there will be action and that will be not very nice for uh, this market. What most likely will happen in the future with uh, uh, basically when it comes to online currency is that governments or central banks will adopt their own um, uh, online currency. For example, an uh, e-euro or an e-dollar which will be monitored and um, 
and will be regulated by the, the central banks. So that will be a completely different system, which it will take time in order to build that infrastructure, but that is most likely what is going to happen. So coins, paper money, that is going to be of the past, and uh, we'll have electronic currencies. There are a lot of benefits with it, and there's also a lot of cons with it. Benefits is basically that black market will basically will be most likely impossible. Uh, the cons is that freedom, for example, every single transaction that you basically use will basically be monitored. So people will give up some of their freedom when it comes to spending money because every transaction will basically be able to be monitored. But that is basically what most likely will happen in the future. So this is purely people putting their money into, or institution putting their money into Bitcoin as a safe haven, not because they are thinking that this is going to be the a future currency of the world. But in order to see the risk in this, you have to go to the weekly chart. And we have to zoom out a little bit and look at this. At, the, at this current moment, Bitcoin is basically, is technically vertical. And every single time something basically becomes vertical like this, it is a really, really, really uh, bad sign. This could tumble a lot. So my first bet is basically that we'll go back to 20,000. That is where I think that we are going in, not in the long run, but in the very short run. We'll probably go to 30,000 and then drop. So if we go back to 2017, so this was the last major rally for Bitcoin, where we went from, well, basically nothing, all the way up to 20,100 or 200. So we, if you look at the RSI back then, it was at 91. That is basically where the RSI was, 91, 92, when we reached the peak here. And every single time the RSI has gotten towards the 90 le uh, level in the RSI, in the weekly chart, this has tumbled. So we have three examples, we have two examples of this. We have one here and we have one here where the RSI becomes very, very high, and that has a major effect on the value of Bitcoin. So what happened here in 2017 is that we rallied all the way up towards 2,102. Week after, it fell to 10,716. One week, it basically lost half of its value. After that, we had a rally again, all the way up towards 17,566, 17, and then it tumbled all the way down towards the 50 moving average at 5,970, rallied again towards 11,525, and then we had just an enormous fall all the way down towards 3,219. So this is basically what happened in 2017. Of course, it was much more volatile back then. There was not a lot of institutions basically uh, putting their money into this market. So a repeat of this is fairly unlikely at this point. But a repeat of that, that is very likely at this, uh, at this current stage. So the next one was here. We rallied from 3,000 up towards up towards uh, 13,634, and then we rally, we basically fell all the way down to 3,836 uh, again. But again here, we have an RSI that is basically at 90 or higher than that. So pay attention to the RSI when it gets close to 90 or above 90 in the weekly chart, because that is a major worrying sign for this market. At this point, we have been rallying from 3,831 all the way up to 28,162 at this current stage. So RSI at this current point is at 92. And that should be a major warning sign that this market is very likely to tumble. So we can also look at, for example, the Bollinger Band, because that is also a very good indicator um, 
of basically uh, where we are going in this cryptocurrency. So, sorry, we have to go back towards to uh, 2017. And as you can see, when we broke out of the top of the Bollinger Band, we basically broke down. The same goes for here when we broke out of the Bollinger Band, significantly outside of the Bollinger Band top, we broke down. So here we have an RSI above 90 and outside of the Bollinger Band here we have an RSI at 90 and we broke out of the Bollinger Band. The same goes for this area here. It, the RSI is not that high but we broke out of the top of the Bollinger Band and we broke down. Same here and if we go to today we are significantly outside of the top of the bollinger band and we are at 92. so both of these in historical in the weekly chart have been basically decimated the, the cryptocurrency market or bitcoin um, every single time these two have occurred so outside of the top of the bollinger band and the rsi above 90 or at 90. so that's the reason why I'm not buying this. I'm actually selling this at this current point. So, um, and you could also look at the Fibonacci retracement. If you take the lows here to the very highs at the moment, so we can basically see where we could actually fall to. So my bet is towards 20,000. And the reason why I say 20,000, because that is the previous highs over here. And that is also where we started this rally. So 20,000 is basically where I think that we are going to fall to um, in the in the basically in the coming weeks. But to say we could actually rally significantly further. We could go all the way to 30,000 before we start falling again. But back in 2017, we fell from 2000, 20,000, 100, 200, all the way down to um, to 10,800. So it lost half its value. In only one week so if you compare that that to today that basically means that we're going all the way down to 13,000 15 13,000 or in this range here and here we find the 20 exponential moving average at the 50 uh, fifty percent Fibonacci retracement that is a 16,000 underneath that we have the 61.8 at 13,000 so I know that many people will basically uh, yelling at me in the comment section, comment section uh, section uh, for being this dire for for Bitcoin, but history basically has told us where we most likely will be, go in this market. And even though we we may rise a little bit higher in this market, this is a massive warning sign, and this is a massive warning sign that this market will most likely tumble in the coming weeks. So the target here is most likely 20,000 and this is where you basically can enter again or this is where I'm going to consider entering again uh, because I don't think this is going to be the end of Bitcoin, N not even close. This is only going to be the start of Bitcoin. What we're seeing at the moment is just significantly overbought and that we need a, um, a pullback, quite a significant pullback in order to get people to buy into this again. The buy here is fairly nuts, to be fairly honest. So let's look at the other cryptocurrency. So Ethereum. We can see that it has rallied also, but it is still outside of the Bollinger Band. We are only at uh, 81 in the, in the RSI, and this is the weekly chart. Um, technical indicators are mixed. CCI is basically pointing down and it's becoming bearish. Uh, the RSC is stochastic, is flat, and the MACD is basically bullish at this point. Uh, but still, we are significantly overbought in the weekly chart. So we could see this market as well tumble, but I don't think that will tumble that far. Uh, roughly 500 is basically where I think that this market will go in the few um, coming weeks. So let's look at the daily chart. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 60 in, um, in Ethereum. We found the support at the 50 moving average here. And that is roughly at, uh, roughly at 550. 
So 550, 50, that's most likely the bottom of this market. So there's a lot of room to the upside in this cryptocurrency. So one of the main reasons why I also don't think that cryptocurrencies are going to be the um, currency of the future is because even though, for example, Bitcoin, there is a limited amount of Bitcoin, there is not a limited amount of cryptocurrencies. So back in 2009, January 2020, there were over 20, no, 2,000 cryptocurrency available. So Bitcoin, of course, has the biggest market share or is the best known cryptocurrency, but it's not the only cryptocurrency. There is an unlimited amount of cryptocurrency. And every single time something becomes unlimited, it basically becomes useless. So, so Bitcoin is basically seen as the new gold and that people are focusing on that as a safe haven, but they're not focusing on all cryptocurrencies because that will be fairly impossible that all over 2,000 cryptocurrency will rise similar to uh, what Bitcoin has been rising in the past few months. It is basically a safe haven that people are using at the moment. As soon as basically the, car, the, the um, economy will turn around, you may see a massive, massive fall in Bitcoin. But that, of course, will probably take months, also years. So in the coming um, months and years, Bitcoin will most likely rally like gold also will rally. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.